morning. Drop the kids off. Now we gotta go set up our GoPro. It's kind of the morning tradition at the moment. Really want to get this whole house framing on a time lapse. So far, that thing hasn't even froze yet. So it's uh, eight o'clock. The builders they typically get here at daylight, so they might have a wall constructed already. This morning we are going to go down to where we put some field tile in the ground there a few weeks ago. We're going to spread down there. That farm is dry right now. The ground's dried out quite a bit. I want to spread that while we have dry ground. Because once it starts raining in the spring, that generally stays fairly, fairly moist. We're going to spread that, spread a few more fields around the house and around the other grain bins. And then we will be done spreading for a while. Coffee number one. And coffee number two. Looks like one of the neighbors in a Heggy. Just go ahead and wait on him right here. It's a little thin up here. Not much berm. We are uh, eh, about a quarter of the way down on this farm. The field that we tiled is going to corn, so BJ will strip till that one at some point. But we are going to go work that down with the accelerator at some point in the, the next day or so. Try to work out some of those tile lines, get it a little bit better shape. Hopefully this rain we have coming over the weekend will just help settle that out real nice after we run over it a few times. And then he can get her stripped. We are variable rating here. There's our map, our different zones. These were built off of soil tests and yield results, or yield maps. We're fluctuating anywhere from 100 pounds at the minimum to like 215 pounds at the maximum on potash. So hopefully produces some good soybeans. One of my favorite parts about spreading, you just feel like you're feeding the crop. You feel like you're doing something that's gonna, I don't know how to describe it. it, just, it I like spreading fertilizer. I like planting the crop, but this is the first step, obviously. It, it just, it feels Feels like you're setting the basis for a good crop early, I guess, I don't know. Let's hop out and um, check our tile lines. A lot of people wanted to see if that main would be running water. I don't know if it will or not, just as it rained for a little while, but we're right beside it. We can walk over here and check it. So this is the field that we had the tiling project in. That's the main that we ran all those laterals to. Yeah, I don't see any water coming out of that one. It looks like there's a little bit in it, maybe. Oh, it's, it's coming out up there, actually. You can see it trickling out through the uh, through the pipe up there. There's the old main that we ran last year with water coming out of it. BJ's critter guard installation skills are a little lacking, but yep, they are running water. So as you can see, there's water coming out of that one. It's just coming out up there, doing what they're supposed to do. So out here on the ground, you can see our fertilizer. That's a piece of potash, there's a piece of potash. So I will probably come through and work this in with a vertical tillage tool just to get that in the ground a little sooner. Well, I pulled it into the next field, now my, my floater won't go. It won't go into Ford. This is fun, so fun, so entertaining for me. Gives me a lot of confidence, I can tell you that. So we are reconfiguring a field here. This used to be all part of that. We're gonna plant this part of this field, the beans, the rest of it, the corn. We are only doing that so we can get access to a couple other fields over here without taking off the bean bed. The field that had a tile project in it, we are making that a bigger field. It was uh, three fields. It's gonna be now 180, 85 acre field, something like that. So make that a little bit more efficient for us. So I just got the floater empty. Came back here to get some more fertilizer, but while we're here, I'm gonna go run and I'm gonna go check my GoPro battery. Goofy as that sounds, it really, I really wanna get as much of our house on a time lapse as possible. I feel 
real responsible doing this, not really, but like I said, I really would like to catch this whole thing on time lapse, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Oh snap, we have a house. Well, part of it. I'm ready to move in. So BJ had some personal items he had to take care of. He's just getting started, finishing up this field from last night. And I think he's shearing a few pins, having some issues. So the units on that are all all have shear pins. That way if you hit something like a big piece of concrete, they just shear bolt and you don't tear anything up. Well, there's some stuff in that field. There's some old roads, there's some old buildings. I think you hit a piece of concrete and sheared a pin. Back into our chariot we go. Put that back up there. It is almost too hot for coffee, almost. Another 30, 40 degrees, it'd be up there. It's only like 80 right now. That sarcasm wasn't too hot, but it really is about 80. So I just talked to my brother. He is gonna need his tender filled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that tender up for him because I want to keep him rolling. And well, I'll be pretty much done spreading bean ground for now until we figure a few things out. Got a couple more farms I want to do, but we need to figure out if we're going to spread the corn ground there. And if we are, I'm going to spread it too. But I haven't figured that part out yet, so I'm going to hold off on those farms for now. Pull this thing out of the way. Let my air conditioner cool us off. Job number 67, adjust the clutch in this truck. She's getting a little, a little out of adjustment. Hopefully she'll last till then. Has one of those on the front of it though, so I wouldn't be surprised about anything. filling himself up. He just got a strip till bar fill up. He's gonna come back over to this farm and work late tonight, he said. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go finish the rest of the spread. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be glad to not be bouncing around in this thing for a little while. Get back in a tractor. Where at least the ride's a little better. So this is a few hours after the builders have left. It's about 6.30. Come here to get my GoPro. Got Dax with me. We're gonna go check out the progress. And then we're gonna go finish doing some more spreading. Uh, I just got about 80 acres left, so that shouldn't take too long. Might even get home early tonight. It smells like fresh pine in here. Yep. Hey. What? Don't fall in the basement and don't trip over anything. What happens if I trip over something? Might hurt. What do you think? There's mom's kitchen window. You gonna go work with me for a little bit? Yeah. Climb up her. You can drive, I'll take me a nap. <laughs> How about you drive? Possibly. So the beavers still have the creek dammed up, which is preventing me from spreading this little field behind me because the crossing is so high. Tore that dam out a few times this year. Bad people trap the beaver, there's more beaver. It's an interesting animal. Man, they can cause problems. Water's way up on that crossing, way higher than it normally is. I don't think I can cross it right now. Starting to hang in there. Told you we were gonna get done early. So I have enough fertilizer to do that little field that I can't get to because that beaver dam, but we ain't gonna make it over there tonight. 